Good evening, everybody. This is Johnny Seville. This is your executive summary for stock setups for Wednesday, the 25th of May. And uh, let's uh, let's start with the market. Um, uh, what a move today. We had a sharp move through the moving averages that were uh, overhead on the S&P 500 today, and uh, but not on a very strong volume, only $3.6 billion, um, which is uh, on a breakout of that type of magnitude, you'd expect something a little bit more significant. So I went through and ran my uh, number one most powerful long scan I have, which is Fallen Angels, and there was uh, tons of what I consider false signals, like 77 on, this, on, the, ch on, the, on the list, which normally means it's false because you don't normally get that many. So I went through and went uh, went through them all, and found very few. Uh, so when the very best scan that I'm aware of in existence <laughs> in the market, the one I use primarily for all my longs, for momentum longs, when that's not showing any good trades, that tells me that this isn't a truly long market. This is just a um, a, a short squeeze. Now, um, open range was broken today, so we, we will respect the rules of that, I, I expect. Um, but remember, we only have four days of uh, open range, uh, which was set on Friday. We broke that today, the 24th. And of course, we have the long weekend. So we only have four trading days left until open range resets again on June 1st. So there's not a lot of weight behind the break, which means those four days could simply be coming up, touching the right shoulder here, pulling back and consolidating and, and basically moving between this 2060, 2080 range over the next few days. That would mean that the, the head and shoulders is still intact and we still retain the uh, the bearish signal. Uh, other things that um, made me believe that you know we don't have... Um, uh, quite the type of bull movement that uh, that the S and P showed is if we look at the S excuse me the Dow Jones Transport, uh, they didn't enjoy the rally really at all, uh, running into moving averages, continuing to consolidate, closing in the bottom half of the range. Uh, this still looks very bearish. So um, uh, these are the kind of things that I was uh, looking at, and of course on high yield bonds. Uh, not much of li a lift today either, and in fact, just simply consolidating in the up in an upward channel uh, with money flow continuing to stay bearish. So uh, I don't think that right now today is anything that's going to get my knickers in a twist. Uh, I want to see what happens um, over the next few days until anything until, until what basically is containing this level down um, breaks. Then I, I just don't see this as a as a bull reversal. Uh, certainly not yet anyway. Um, in terms of having a look at uh, some of the stocks in play though, Chef, um, I would take profits on that. I think it's uh, it's likely to rally up into the 1650 zone, 1640. Uh, I would just take profits on this and wait for it to break down below this low before re-entering. So I think Chef is just kind of going to be a, a smaller profit than we'd hoped for, but a profit nonetheless. Um, and I'd look at that as an early exit. Also VSAT, uh, they reported after market today, and um, uh, Think or Swim is showing uh, after market trading at seventy dollars. But they don't. Um, we're not seeing any uh, after market trading data on Yahoo or the uh, some of the other brokerages. So, but it looks like some of the um, uh, that it's showing a gap down already to seventy dollars. But they missed on earnings. They were um, uh, adjusted for one time gains and for adjusted earnings for one time gains and costs were twenty nine cents per share um, uh, based on Zach's investment research um, over four analysts. They were looking for an earnings of uh, 36 cents per share, so roughly 20 uh, percent below expectations. So I'll be looking for a nice move down into around, hopefully around this kind of uh, 66, 67 dollar area, and I'll uh, take out my profits on that. And I, I bought the uh, 71 dollar June puts uh, today, uh, looking for this overnight move. So uh, we'll see how those turn out. Um, but I mean, across the board with the stocks that we're that we're covering. Um, I don't see any real problems with them at all. I mean, HPP did hit the stop, but I would look to re-enter that um, uh, based on what happens over the next few days. Still looks really good, but did hit the stop loss. Um, but uh, DLTR still holding beneath resistance. They have earnings on the 26th, uh, but the DLTR, you know, again, underneath resistance. Underneath resistance, none of these stocks are, you know, made some big recovery against the downward trend. So DLTR still holding that. Uh, look at HXL, um, that had a big move down today intraday, hitting the first target of 42, um, uh, down from that entry criteria up around uh, 44. So again, small move but a profit nonetheless, and then hit a low of 40 dollars and 50 and change, and uh, then went straight back up. So big, um, big pull down on HXL. Uh, SUN, one that I loaded up on some extra puts last week. Um, this one, 
uh, just rallying into resistance. However, because this is rallying underneath an, an upward trend, I would move the stop loss on this up to 35.27 to be on the other side of resistance, just to give this one the right protection. Um, Canadian Pacific doing beautifully well. Again, this was, uh, uh, again, transport. So um, considering how weak transports were today and, and have been, uh, this one didn't gain any ground today. And uh, you can see closed right at the bottom of the range after bouncing off the resistance line here. So um, uh, also this one not giving any, uh, any kind of uh, happiness to traders uh, looking to go long. So everyone holding short, well done. This is uh, still continuing to power down. Um, eBay, this one, uh, also like the other stocks, is underneath a rising trend line. So I would update the stop loss on this to 24.83 to be on the other side of resistance. Uh, but again, look at the movement on this. Uh, back and forth, back and forth in a consolidating triangle um, or rising wedge, which breaks down bearishly. We moved opposite direction, uh, which again indicates to me short covering and will likely just um, lose its steam as we run into this resistance line and then resume its original trend. That's what I'm looking for on eBay. Um, Goodyear time hit its target um, last week, um, which was uh, just down here at 20, uh, 26.93 was the target. It hit that on uh, Thursday and then hit it again yesterday on Monday. Um, so uh, we're looking for this now to uh, to break down. It is at resistance if you're still holding it, so it um, should hopefully stay underneath that. But uh, if it goes too much higher than that, I would again, I just take profit and wait for it to break support. And then we're looking at a target all the way down here is possibly 21. So a lot more room left on Goodyear Tire once we get through that zone of support. Um, in terms of the uh, the longs, CLDX has held up really well. The entry criteria was 395 up to 421 now. So as a hedge, which we mentioned, this is looking really good. Um, QIWI. Um, one that I bought uh, last week that I mentioned uh, as a hedge as well that pulled back to support a possible cup and handle so still looking at that to rally up into its target around 1293 and uh, as one uh, uh, or two potential new hedges CPHD looking at a potential long on this at uh, current levels um, and uh, looking for a rally to 3093 as the first target and, um, excuse me, um, yeah, 30.93 is the second target and 29.83 as the first target. And I'd be looking at a stop loss at 26.43. And uh, that's got, an, again, that nice downward drop and a possible pop to either this level or this level or where the two targets are. So based on the uh, open of that candle and the low of this candle and how I get those two targets. And we've got... PTCT, which is, uh, again, this is high risk potential trade, but I'd be looking at this as a possible uh, um, a rally from uh, entry point between $8. If look for a, if it pulls back to 8 that'd be perfect tomorrow. Otherwise, um, basically at the current levels, 814. Um, looking for a rally to 967 and a stop criteria at 763. And again, this one's been building for a while, so could have a nice big intraday pop and you pick up, you know, a dollar fifty there um, on an eight dollar stock, so almost twenty percent, just even though that's a small amount of movement. So um, uh, now, uh, again, as I mentioned in the uh, trading room tonight, uh, for those of you who missed it, though, we uh, again, we have our patterns and probabilities course uh, launching on the June 6th. Uh, which then will uh, continue on into fallen angels. Uh, if you uh, if you've ever wanted to understand where we get how we calculate all these moves with deadly accuracy, I mean, again, like GT Goodyear Tire, we predicted the basically within a few cents of the absolute bottom of Goodyear Tire. How do we do that? It's from understanding patterns and probabilities. So only trading the highest probability patterns. Um, which is and because there's a hundred out there, so knowing what are the five most highest probability patterns to specialize in and ignore the rest. That's step one. Step two, obviously, is knowing the exact rules of how we really locate them and then how we enter them, where we put the stop loss so that it works and we don't get whipsawed and, and sell before it suddenly shoots up. Uh, and how we set our targets so we get out at the right time before it may shoot back down again. And so we don't take unnecessary losses, nor do we give away unnecessary profits. Um, this is an eight-lesson course, uh, eight-module course. 
We start on June 6th, and it is, uh, uh, it's one of our most popular and uh, a great way to really master um, how to read a chart like a pro, so that you are never guessing and you are only making decisions using rules and high probability setups. So um, if you are interested, uh, simply just uh, shoot us a quick email to info at acornwealthcorp.com uh, to register your interest. Uh, it is, um, we've had a lot of uh, interest in this already and a lot of people that are taking it from previous classes. So in terms of new spaces for new people, there's not a lot of room. So uh, make sure you do register for your interest with us uh, ASAP. And we will obviously um, honor the spaces in the order that we receive those emails. So um, again, info at acornwealthcorp.com. Just say interested in patterns and probabilities course, and we'll uh, send you over the information and get in touch with you. Uh, okay, well, great start to the week so far. Looking forward to uh, uh, the next few days, and we'll uh, see you all in the next executive summary. Take care, everybody.